Welcome to this introductory video on the Wapsimo project. This five minute video will outline what Wapsimo is, how it works, and what you can expect from the system. The system has been translated into Spanish, French, and Portuguese. Arabic, Farsi, German, and Italian translations are in the works. This video will demonstrate the site in English. Wapsimo, what is it? Wapsimo is a web service for use by clinicians. It allows clinicians to obtain pharmacokinetic estimates for the individual patients they care for. Wapsimo is based on a population PK approach and only requires sparse samples. Any number of samples can be inputted, but two to three are ideal. Wapsimo requires the user to input minimal patient characteristics, age and weight, infusion data, and post-infusion factor concentrate plasma levels into a secure database at McMaster University. Each report generated is vetted by a PK expert. WAPSIMO is available free of charge, but for safety and accountability purposes, users have to register on the system and be centrally approved. WAPSIMO, how does it work? Adding a new patient. After signing into their own center's page, Registered users can create a new patient record by clicking the Add Patient button. The center administrator creates a local patient ID. The center decides on the IDs and controls the patient list. All patient data is anonymized for use in the WAPSIMO site. The user then enters the requested patient characteristics. Gender, date of birth, patient's baseline factor level. Optional fields include blood group and a history of inhibitors. Adding an infusion. When a patient is first entered or for an existing patient, the user clicks the Add an Infusion button to add details about the infusion. Concentrate used, body weight, dose administered, infusion date and time, and optionally, height and hemoglobin levels. Inputting post-infusion plasma concentrations. On the infusions page, the user enters time and plasma factor concentration measurements for post-infusion samples. There are checkboxes for specific samples, pre-infusion sample, or sample below the level of quantitation. Once this data has been inputted, click Save Infusions and a message will appear to signal that the infusion data has been saved. Requesting a PK assessment. After the infusion data are finalized by clicking the Finalize Measurements button, the user can request pharmacokinetic estimates by clicking the Request PK button in the PK Estimate column. A message confirms a successful request. Retrieving a PK report. When the report for the PK estimate is ready, the requester receives an email alert with a link to the report. The report is also stored in the WAPSIMO website and can be seen by clicking the View link in the Pharmacokinetic Estimate column. Reviewing a PK report. The interactive report shows terminal half-life and its 95% coefficient. Time to 0 0.05, 0 0.02, and 0 0.01 units. An interactive graph comments from PK experts, if applicable, and the original infusion data. The report can be printed or saved as a PDF. Wapsimo, what else I need to know? We have explained what the system does and shown you its basic functions. There are also center administration functions, edit, copy and delete functions, and merge functions for more advanced usage. If you wish to use the service or to collaborate with us, please contact us at wapshemo at mcmasterhkr.com for more information.